So guys, we're down here at Central Cascades Archery, um, getting the new Bowtech bow all set up, the Solution SS. Uh, we have Ed back here behind the counter working feverishly on his bows. What we're doing is just getting it ready to go. Um, we have a cougar hunt um, coming up here uh, next week, Thursday, we leave um, for a cougar hunt over in Northern Idaho. And we're gonna be hoping to get it done between me and my dad. We got two of us um, guided with dogs. And we're gonna be going after Tom's um, and trying to just make sure we get it done. My dad is gonna be, he's debating between 22, 250 and 45, 70. Um, and then me, I'm gonna be taking the Solution SS. So we're gonna go out and put some rounds through it. We haven't even uh, tuned it yet. We've just got it to where it's um, hitting on, you know, the paper we got down there. And put some shots through it, get that string stretched a little bit, and then we'll tune it um, here tomorrow and then uh, be ready to go. So looking forward to this and it's gonna be a great hunt. Well, I walk through the valley Will I see no stars tonight? We'll leave all that away Cause blood this spilling blood like a crimson tide Red skies turn black as night I meet you see that next on come But if they are is super smooth easy to shoot again it's the solution ss um, from bowtech sitting with the uh, single pin fast eddy xl running spider archery stabilizers front and a rear back bar um, 70 pounds on comfort not quite sure what we're running for speed but you know i shooting a 500 grain arrow so I think it's out there quite a bit we're about ready to uh, probably call it a day we've got about oh I'd say 50 arrows through the bow um, again not worried about being sighted in right now we still got to tune it so um, just doing some final tune on the bow want to make sure that we're 100 percent good to go again solution SS from Bowtech um, what we've done so far today is we paper tuned um, since this bow's brand new. Got a few hundred shots into it the other day. Uh, we are sighted in at 20. Um, we threw a target out at 60. We've put a few arrows down at 60. Just made a few minor adjustments in the sight. Um, gonna go ahead and check that shot. Uh, are there a couple shots here real fast and then if they're good we'll throw a tape on it and then verify yardages in between so here we go will i see all the misery of what is dead and gone in the sails they cry in vain because the ship is sailing is made up skin and bone Red skies turn black as night I need you see On that next sun come But it fell All right, let's go ahead and take a peek and uh, see where we ended up from the looks of it. A pretty good group going at 60, um, but looks a little bit right. So we're going to put some, some turns in and uh, move the sight, follow the arrow and uh, we'll probably be good to go, but height-wise, I think we've got the 60 yardage mark as far as height-wise dial, just need to uh, put those turns in and then be ready to roll, so. Just so everybody can see I'm not fibbing, but uh, definitely shooting a little bit to the right. Um, we'll put those turns in and then uh, we'll make it happen, so. Hey guys, just checking in. Um, 
getting ready to pack everything. We leave, uh, or I leave tomorrow morning at uh, 4 a.m. Uh, meet up with my dad around one o'clock again. But just getting everything all situated, uh, gear-wise, ready to go, uh, making sure we have everything we need. Uh, so a couple things that definitely are going to take. Not sure if we're going to take in or not, but at least till we meet up with the guide. Um, we've got our snowshoes. Hopefully we don't have to take them in, uh, but never know. We're going to be snowmobiling into a couple little, um, I guess you'd call them shanties or shacks, um, where we're going to be staying uh, for five days as we search for cougar tracks and uh, hopefully get to put some dogs out on them. But we've got that. Uh, we've got some snacks um, and also jet boils so we can do some coffee. Um, we got our exo pack. Muley Freak rifle cover in case the weather gets bad. That's for uh, rivals for the wolf. You know, if we see the wolf at a long distance, we're taking the Botex Solution SS for uh, the cougar if we're able to get one treed. Um, all the Sika gear. Uh, make sure we got our rain gear. Um, that's the Stormfront set. That set is awesome. Uh, probably the best gear out there for rain. Taking the pistol, the 40 cal, stuff to sleep in, um, all the warm gear. Um, we've got the um, jet stream jackets coming with us from Sitka as well as the um, Puffy uh, that they have the light version. So I'm going to take that. We got the snowmobile helmet um, all ready to go. Taking the Razor HDs for binos. Um, got that new Sig Kilo um, 1800 BDX rangefinder. That thing is really sweet. Uh, right out to about that 800 mark. Um, just tell me exactly what to hold. Um, on my rifle and dial too so it's really nice gear to wear in um, on the snowmobile the scarpas are definitely coming on this uh, they are watertight um, and then we're taking all right we're uh all loaded up and uh ready to hit the road it's uh, 4 30 in the morning uh, seven hour drive again ahead of us so we're gonna go ahead and get started and uh, chat with you guys later Storm come Well little whispers in the night. So we're here in uh Tri Cities, Washington, and about halfway now it's almost nine o'clock. Um or actually a little more than halfway. We only got about 180 miles left to go. Uh, until I meet up with dad, but figured there is a sportsman's warehouse here. Um and with the shortage of primers and all that in the market today. I could always use a little bit more, um, especially with all the shooting I've been doing lately. So figured I would stop in and see if they have anything. Um, but apparently I'm not the only one with that idea. Um, Pre-opening, there's already a line. What is going on? Well, we uh, we checked it out. They had nothing. Um, everybody waited in line for no reason. Glad I didn't wait in line. Just got here right in time. Um, they did get a truck, but no ammo um, or it came in late last night and they already sold it all but all right we are on the road again um, gonna go another hundred and some odd miles and then we'll uh we'll check all right, we are uh, getting close about an hour out uh, rolling into Pullman right now and uh, I'm really glad about that because man I gotta go to the bathroom been a long bumpy ride Grab a quick bite. Getting ready to uh, head on in. We're all packed up. Um, sleds, dogs, all our gear ready to go. Um, check in after we get out of this little bit of storm and into the cabin. So we uh, made it to camp. We're really roughing it. Um, got two little shacks and a actually have a generator so we got power um, about 40 miles in my snowmobile is what it ended up being so we're we got fire stoked um, drying out a little bit of gear it's been snowing the whole way uh, most of it a white out so it's actually let up a little bit but looking forward to uh, dad getting hopefully on a cougar tomorrow 
we uh, came across one set of cat tracks, probably uh, about 10 days old is what the guide said, and a set of wolf tracks that weren't too old. So I'm okay with either. I'm not picky, but we're going to see if we can get down on a cougar first. Um, dogs are getting let out here in a second, just going to run around, and, and then we're going to go ahead and eat some dinner here in a little bit, and then tuck in for the night. So. Yeah, everybody will uh we'll catch you tomorrow on the first official day well it's uh morning of day one in cougar camp and uh from the looks of it as you can tell we are almost all ready to go just got a mess going on here loaded up pretty much it snowed probably five inches last night and we got some heavy snow coming down right now hoping it kind of actually lightens up a little bit um make it better for catching tracks so they don't fill in but we're uh we're gonna grab some breakfast and um head on the road here soon so talk to you uh hopefully when we see some tracks you gotta love the snow lots of snow <laughs> found one track and uh pretty snowed in so we'll see what they're gonna do got a cat track not too bad ready to go find a cat yeah Definitely. this looks like a mama with two babies though yep but it's a start yep it's <laughs> one set of cat tracks yesterday or actually two sets one set got rained out got quite a bit of rain yesterday mixed in with the snow and then uh came across another set late in the afternoon a little late for uh getting the dogs on it would have been dark probably before we got it treed so we're gonna head back out today and uh and give her heck got about an inch of fresh snow last night and it's really quite a nice scene out here so Hoping today's a good day, and uh, we get a cat in a tree, and either Dad or I are taking it down. So we'll have tea. Tea will be. Tea's gonna have Sir's collar. Okay. Remy will have Trigger's collar. And then uh, Trump, he'll have uh, Delta's collar. I'm not sure why I don't have these dogs with collars here. on in we got a cat treat up about 300 yards up this hill and across how far 400 or 100 There's cat tracks all through here. Dogs are going nuts. No, easy walk right now. Fun part's coming out heavy.
I see him. Yep. Right at our eye level. Good with this one? What's that? I was asking if he's good with this one. <laughs> yeah, don't shoot him yet. I said I gotta tie dogs back. Yeah. Do you have a shot right there? Like right in the Good dog, good dog. Boys ready? Just... I'm right here. Well, hang on, let him finish tying that dog. Need help there, Ashton? You getting ready? Yeah. Just hang on to her. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Whenever you're ready there, George! <laughs> nice shot. came to an end we're back at camp and we have one down dad was able to put a great shot on one today and uh, weather was beautiful today I don't know how we lucked out but hopefully tomorrow turns into another great day uh, I'm up Bo's ready hopefully find a cat so we we split up um, it's me and my dad waiting up here at the in the junction point uh, we got one person ran that way, another person ran that way, another person ran that way. Um, and we just came from back down there, but we've, uh, they've just turned up one set of tracks. It's got a little bit of snow in it. Um, they're gonna look and see if he came out and crossed another road here real quick before we, uh, possibly head back and take a look at it, put the dogs on it. But, um, so far, great morning. Very little snowfall right now. Uh, it's just kind of real light snow and uh, got about two inches last night. So it covered up everything and uh, hoping for a great day. So I'll check in here in a little bit. You need a leash or anything, Sam? Just got a fresh lion track going up the mountain. We're going to let the dogs out and see what happens. Day five, ready to roll. <laughs> There's no place to hide down here 
There's no place to hide down here Went to the rock, got on my knees I heard the angels weep for me No place to hide down here Now where's my brother's keeper Who holds the flaming sword The field had turned to crimson Thought I hid it from the Lord But somewhere east of Eden His blood cried out from the ground I hung my head in shame where I was found There's no place to hide down here No place to hide down here Went to the rock, got on my knees I heard the angels weep for me No place to hide down here Wandering stranger, a scar for a name, a mark so deep and black, my children's children feel the shame. Oh, merciful and gracious Lord, when shall I be released? Was blood that has condemned me, only blood can set me free. There's no place to hide down here. No place to hide down here Went to the rock, got on my knees I heard the angels weep for me No place to hide down here No, there's no place to hide down here say all good things come to an end me and my dad we've got another cat in the bag so day five this one made us work though work a lot only 900 yards down the canyon <laughs> down the canyon and back yeah yeah he's doing really good though i'm glad he takes a lot of breaks it's good for me <laughs> Makes it to where at least I don't look like I'm taking that many breaks. But it's been a great trip. Thanks, Shadow Creek Outfitters. Well, I walk through the valley. Will I see no stars tonight? Will leave all. Cause the blood that's spilling blows like a crimson tide Red skies turn black as night I meet you see that next sun come But it fell fiery red in the morning light I meet you see that last red dawn Dead 
and gone In the sails they cry in vain Because the ship is sailing is made up skin and bone Red skies turn black as night I need you to see That next song come But if they'll 